Hey there Pathless Peddlers, today I'm going to answer a viewer question. You guys have asked what bikes do we ride? So in this video I'm going to take a closer look at one of those bikes, the All City Space Horse. So stay tuned after the bumper. Hey there Pathless Peddlers, today I'm going to take a closer look at my All City Space Horse. Uh, I bought the stock build and changed a bunch of parts and I'll tell you uh, what I changed and how I think it rides. So first off, one of the things I changed right away were the brakes. In this version, it had a Tektro cantilever brake and I was never a fan of the canties so I swapped them out with these TRP short pull V brakes. So these TRP brakes are popular with cross racers and they did vastly improve the braking power of the bike. But one thing I did find was that the braking was fairly binary. It was either all the way on or off. So while I love them for their stopping power, uh, they're kind of tough to modulate the braking with the bike. So one of the biggest changes I made to the bike right away was the gearing. The bike came stock with the 5034, which I felt was a little high for what was supposedly a touring bike. Uh, and the cassette uh, only went up to a 30 tooth cog. So really quickly, I, I switched out the rear cassette for a 12 to 36 in the back and swapped out the cranks for the Sejino XD601 cranks, I believe they're called. What's cool about these uh, Sejino cranks is they are a 110, 74 uh, bolt circle diameter. And what this basically means is that it gives you lots of freedom and flexibility to mix and match uh, chain rings that you wouldn't usually get uh, with stock kind of crank set offering. So for example, uh, Compact Road, you'd probably get a 5034, that'd be considered a low gearing. With this crank set, I've been able to create a crank set that was a 44 with a 24 on the small ring. And you can have all these different permutations in between. You can really fine tune the front chain rings to how you like to ride. And if you want to break free from the tyranny of uh, what the bike industry wants you to ride on the front, definitely check out those Sejino cranks. Other nice touches on the bike are these uh, Planet Bike Grasshopper Bamboo Fenders. The tires are the Soma Supple Vitesse, the super light versions, which offer tons of suspension, a really supple sidewall, and smooths out the ride quality even more. On the front, I have mounted the Rollin uh, Demi Portura rack. And uh, if you have that rack or considering it, uh, they come with shorter stays that are meant for a mid-fork eyelet. So to kind of make the, the Rollin Demi Portura rack uh, work with this bike or with, with other bikes, you want to use the Salsa Extra Long rack stays in 8mm. Those work perfect with the Rollin Demi Portura rack. The shifters on the bike are the Shimano Tiagra 10-speed rifters, which in all honesty uh, I'm not too fond of just because they're big and bulbous, but perhaps more uh, to the point they still have the cable uh, kind of popping out to the side. It's not le neatly routed beneath the bar tape. So how does this bike ride? Uh, for me, I think the All City Space Horse is definitely more of an all-rounder bike. It's not light and quick like a pure all-out road bike, but it's also a lot zippier and more fun to ride than a pure touring bike. In terms of touring, I have done a couple of tours with it. And I feel like it's, its maximum weight limit is around the 30 to 40 pound mark. And any, any more beyond that, the bike gets really whippy and the handling gets thrown off. I've also tried attaching tubus uh, terror racks to the front. And for some reason where the eyelets are placed on the front fork and the mid fork, it just doesn't work. It, it doesn't mount flush. So the way I have this bike set up, it's meant to be a sort of all day uh, riding, climbing bike. Although it's not the lightest bike, I actually find that it climbs fairly, it climbs really well. And that's part function of uh, the gearing that's on this bike. But also for me, it planes. You know, we've all heard this mystical term that uh, Jan Heine uses in Bicycle Quarterly, a kind of magical harmonic resonance between output and the springiness of a frame. But for me, the All City Space Horse planes while I ride which is pretty cool. So one kind of quirk about the All City Space Horse is the frame sizing. I usually ride between the 52 and the 53, but for some reason, uh, the 49 fits me just fine. So since I've had this bike, you know, they have a new model out. I don't think they even offer uh, the Canty version anymore. It's, it's all disc all the time, which I think makes sense. I was never a huge fan of the Canty brakes. For this bike, where it would be fun on mixed train adventures, that the extra stopping power of a disc brake would be certainly welcome. So that's it for this video on my All City Space Force. If you guys have any questions, uh, specifically about the comp components or how it rides, leave those in the comments below. 
And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you want more bike nerdy content like this, uh, subscribe and thanks for watching.